Hi, YouTubers. Hi, co-creators. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, I'm on day 21. Super excited today. Um, I've always been grateful for my office and how gorgeous it is and how perfect it is. But I had a guest come in today, uh, this acquaintance who'd never been to my office before. And from the second he entered, he was just talking about the view and the furniture and the amenities. And he was just like going on and on. And I've always been grateful to that. Like, to the point that I spend many lunch hours in my office just because it's so, that, just because I love it so much. Um, sorry, I keep looking behind because the door is glass and I just keep seeing people walking by and I don't want them, you know, interrupting while I'm doing this video. Anyway, so yeah, so I spent like all morning being so grateful for, for my office all over again, especially when somebody else reminds me of how lucky I am to have it. You know, I've never really pictured uh, or envisioned having a magnificent office, but I've always wanted to feel important enough to have, to be given a nice office, and um, and I was, you know, to think I started this company about six months ago in a cubicle, and what I have now, it's pretty amazing. So yeah, started off on a great note, I do have a question for you guys who are more, I guess, in tune with yourselves and have learned the teachings a bit more in depth. Uh, for those of you maybe who are in your season three or four, maybe you can help me with this. I, um, I would like to know how you handle it when um, situations and things you created in the past affect your present. I'm definitely learning to not live in the past or in the future, to live in the now um, and experience the present moment. And I'm actually getting quite good at it, to be honest. But what I find is that some people who are still attributing things from the past to you are still treating you as if you were the same person as you were in your past. So as much as you want to explain to these people that, you know, they sh okay, before I try to explain it to you guys, I'll just tell you what happened. I have a very good friend of mine. Um, so I've known her since high school, so it's been over 15 years. I value her friendship tremendously. And she missed my engagement party because she said her daughter had an ear infection. So her and her husband both could not make it, even though she lived five minutes away. Um, and now she, even though they RSVP, both of them, that they would be attending our wedding, she just sent me an email saying that um, her husband can't make it. And just the excuse, there's nothing wrong with the baby now, you know, there's, there's the excuse is extremely shady. So I'm just, you know, I probably, we had a disagreement in our early 20s, and I totally see how I could have attracted that to myself. I totally see how I could have attracted resentment on part of her husband towards me. But that was, you know, 10 years ago. I'm definitely not that same person anymore. I'm definitely working on not attracting any negativity to that level to myself anymore. But it's clear that, and to be honest, because I live abroad, I haven't seen them recently. And I know that the law of attention works across, you know, oceans and waters and borders. But I, I, I know that I'm actively working on not attracting negativity to myself. So it's clear that there, or she's still upset over stuff in the past. So I can't make her, you know, abide by the law of attraction. I can't make her see things my way. All I could do is adjust my own behavior to, um, to help clarify the situation and to ease tension. So I'm just wondering how I can do that. I've already sent her an email explaining my bit and asking her, you know, if there's anything that she wants to talk about or tell me and that, you know, I'm open to it and that, um, yeah. So what do you guys think? I mean, I did that, but what can I do on my side to kind of reverse the situation? Because I know that it's not the attending the wedding. I, I, I know it. I feel it. Just because... You know, it's just a continuation of what happened for the engagement party. So, anybody, if you have any advice, uh, you know, if there's a passage of the New Earth I should be reading over again, if there's something in the Law of Attraction, you know, or, you know, in an Abraham Hicks book, if there's a website, uh, a link, I'm really willing to invest the time and effort because it's a friendship that I appreciate. I, I, valid, I value and validate all my friendships, but especially those ones that go, you know, many, many years back. Um, and I fully understand you can't control other people and that's not what it's about. It's about controlling what I can do and hopefully 
strengthening your bonds. So I'm on day 21. There's still more to come, and I'm hanging on for the ride. Thanks so much for your help, guys. Bye.